Incoming Call Routes. If you'd like to define a new incoming call route, you click on the PBX tab and then look on the left hand side until you find inbound routes. You click on that, it'll bring up this blank add incoming route and if it's a new one basically you just start typing away. You type in a description, a DID number that correlates to that. If you look here on this side we have some DIDs defined so say we have four digits or we have uh, ten digits or nine digits whatever works out. Uh, you're able to just type in your number there and then once uh, your number is identified in the DID number field uh, the phone system will do what you tell it to do which is when a call comes in on this number where do you want to send it and we have all the choices that we may have defined previously maybe it goes to a ring group maybe it goes to a particular extension but once you make those changes you basically just submit and then you apply your changes just like you did um, in the last example so I'm kind of show you now though so I got extension 5555 here and right now when 555 comes in it goes to Bob McSample but maybe I want to change it to me Bob Langies so I submit that change and then I apply the configuration so when anyone calls my phone system now and it comes in as DID number 5555 it's gonna ring right to Bob Langies extension you do have a variety of choices here to decide where it goes like I said ring groups you could just have it hang up if there's a problem uh, number that a telemarketer has and you just want it to go away uh, you want to send it directly to a voicemail box of a person or a department uh, any cues uh, IVR which is an auto attendant or you could send them right to a directory as well but uh, they're really easy to configure and once you submit it it's active immediately so it's very quick to change something as well